adjacent to the spectacular Solar de Ioni salt flats, which contain 1.35 trillion US dollars worth of lithium in Bolivia, is a mysterious crater which scientists can't seem to agree on. Known as the Ulo Crater or Hayata Ulo, this feature has been described by various papers and scientific sources as either a Mar, aka a volcanic explosion crater, a caldera caused by part of a volcano collapsing, or potentially even an impact crater. The problem in identifying how Ulo Crater formed relates to the rocks which lie around and underneath it. Had Ulo Crater formed on any point encompassing 92% of Earth's land surface, we would have easily preliminarily identified it as an impact crater. The problem, however, arises if an impact crater forms not only on the 8% of volcanic rocks that comprise our planet's land surface, but also in close enough proximity to a volcano that it very well looks like a caldera or mar. To prove the complexity of this situation, can you identify which of these structures are impact craters? It is quite difficult. Scientists encountered this very problem in the 1970s within Alaska when a crater known as Savanovsky Crater was identified within Katmai National Park, which is home to 14 active volcanoes, and even 45 years after its discovery, we still don't know how it formed. As, while rare, statistics suggest that an asteroid large enough to at least leave behind a minimum 500 meter wide impact crater strikes an area of land covered by volcanic rocks an average of once every 23,758 years. For example, while slightly under the 500 meter diameter mark in Chile, there is the Montaraki impact crater which formed on top of Pliocene ignimbrites from incredibly powerful ancient explosive eruptions. This crater formed 663,000 years ago when it impacted 3.2 million year old volcanic rock. In contrast, while the rock units might initially look less eroded around Ulo than at Montaraki, they are actually far older, with these rocks being dead 15.9 million years ago. These rocks represent combined layers of viscous trekky andesite lava flows and ash, which is why they have a lobe like appearance. And yet, something is a bit off at Ulo Crater. Ulo Crater is a blown, measuring 2,562 meters long, 2,878 meters wide, and 395 meters or 1,296 feet deep. While quite eroded, this crater is seemingly too pristine in appearance to have formed around 15.9 million years ago. Thus, this suggests it is far more recent, perhaps forming in the last 2 to 3 million years, which gives increased evidence to Ulo being an impact crater. However, the oblongness of Ulo is a strike against it, as its diameter varies by up to 12.3%, while true impact craters are highly circular, with diameters varying by up to 8.5%. Mars, on the other hand, are generally quite oblong due to magma often originating along a straight line dike. In my opinion, Ulo Crater is situated too far from a local high point to represent a caldera, meaning it could only be a more or a simple impact crater. On Earth, while a complex impact crater with a central peak always forms when an asteroid creates a crater larger than 4 kilometers in diameter, many craters between 2 and 4 kilometers along with all less than 2 kilometers diameter form what is known as a symbol crater with a bowl shape. If I had to put a single educated guess as to what Ulo Crater is, I would suggest that it is most likely to be a Mar. However, Ulo Crater is technically plausible to be a simple impact crater, but evidence is needed to support either assertion. While collecting is illegal since Ulo Crater is located within Lika National Park, you can look out for scattered meteorite fragments, pieces of impact breccia which partially melted and contain black glass known as suavite, shatter cones, and shocked quartz which might exist. Discovery of any one of these four in a sample should be reported to local scientists with the coordinates of where that sample can be found at. Thus, in the future we may finally find conclusive evidence to determine how exactly Ulo Crater formed.